are about to unveil Sharkzilla. He's hiding under here. Now, he is a 52-foot-long, full-scale mechanical replica of one of the most terrifying prehistoric sharks that ever lived. We are not just trying to resurrect a Megalodon. We are trying to reconstruct the Megalodon, capable of biting through a whale. You think about what happened. That's kept us up at night. It Remember, has. We've, we've had conversations about, yeah. about what, what happened to that. What happened to that whale? It's like a crime scene. It needs to be solved. Solving that mystery is challenging, but we do know one thing. Megalodon was big. Just how big? The Great White is today's poster boy for enormous killer sharks. But a Great White like this would be dwarfed by his monstrous cousin. And when that cousin got hungry, just about anything that swam would become a prey item, even an enormous whale. And on California's Shark Tooth Hill, this Miocene crime scene is under investigation. I definitely think that the whale got its head bitten off by the big Megalodon. We did find some make teeth right around it, but we could find some more on the other side, and we could find some of the bones that might have some more scrape marks that will really kind of tell us. So it's kind of fun. We're still investigating it. Sean and Lisa Tohill have been joined by ancient shark expert Chuck Ciampaglio and mechanical designer Jim Sheritz. The team have uncovered their victim, a headless 25-foot-long baleen whale. Yeah, this is cool, man. Now, they need evidence of what killed it. So this is what I was telling you before, that this is right. how we, we find them. We gotta get down to the bottom of the bone bed. Gotcha. And as you see, there's bones here. Oh, oh my God. No way. Yeah, it is, it's a Meg. Lisa. Here. Yeah. Lisa, Meg, come here, babe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a Meg. Oh, oh look at you it. Get it. Over here, you guys. See. Look at it. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Look at that. All right, go oh. ahead, sweetie. All right, go ahead, oh, let, her, oh, let her take it out. When we started yeah, uncovering yeah. that tooth, you know, I had no idea what it was, but I saw the excitement on Sean's face, and it got me pretty, pretty worked up too. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! I know. Can you believe it? Beautiful size of that. It's, it's a all there. Size. I can't wait Holy to see smoke. the other side. It just look keeps at growing as look you that. Look, look at that! 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 This discovery needs to be handled with care. Not only is a pristine megalodon tooth worth thousands of dollars, it's also a lethal weapon. Most megalodon teeth that are found, if they haven't been worked out of the sediment by nature, are so sharp, they're razor blade sharp, and can literally produce a wound if you mishandle one that will ca cause you to actually have to have stitches. I want to see it. I know, <laughs> I, I know, know you get excited. Yeah. I know. We're trying to be patient. Oh, here we go, careful. here we go. OK, go well, ahead. I, I, I oh, like there it. Pops. Oh, yep. oh. oh, pop it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's loosening up, yeah. Oh, oh there, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, look at that. OK, look at what do we got? Turn around. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> look, it's all there. It's all there. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that is, look that that is so look nice. At that. The 25th anniversary of Shark Week starts Sunday, August 12th at 9, only on Discovery.